and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So I just got back from going to a couple stores and I thought I'd hop on here and do another Dollar Tree haul. This one isn't going to be specific, it's just going to be a miscellaneous one, but it is a hot one out there. Who goes shopping in 95 degree weather? This witch does. <laughs> so I wanted to show you everything I got at the Dollar Tree, so without further ado, let's get started. So we'll start with this thing back here. Dollar Tree has really nice rugs. Now they have ones that are flimsy, but this one is hard backed and it's really nice. And I'm actually going to use it to put in my entryway. And it's just, it's really nice material and I don't think it'll slide, but just in case I also bought some of this non-slip rug underlay so just in case it it you know because i have hard wood so just in case i don't want my grandparents or anything slipping so i bought that just in case now i don't have this in order of any rhyme or reason so i'm just gonna dig in but i bought one of these drain rooters and if you haven't seen these in dollar tree they are very useful um, and popular. People pick these up all the time, but it's, and if you don't know what it is, it's for, uh, so you can put this down in your sink drain or your sour drain. And then when you pull it back up, it has little teeth on here that pulls up the hairs. So it helps unclog your, your drains. And then they just came out with these handle loofahs. They had a black and a blue one, but I thought this was really nice. I know earlier this year they had come out with the more uh, feminine colors, like um, the pale pinks and the white and stuff like that. So I thought it was nice that they came out with more masculine colors as well in case, in case you want to put it in a gift basket for your dad, your husband, your boyfriend, or what have you. I thought that was really cool. And then they came out with these really cute eye masks. This one says, Namaste in bed. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. They also had one that said something about wine. And then they had a couple to deal with um, bridesmaids and uh, getting married and stuff like that. I think the one said Mrs. to or Miss to Mrs. So those would be good for a bridal shower or, or something like that. I also found these April Bath and Shower under eye and lip masks. And they have strawberries on the packaging. So I'm wondering if it's strawberry scented. So I thought I'd try those out. And then in the checkout line, I found this really neat first aid kit. Now as a mom, I'm constantly needing band-aids and stuff like that when we're out. So I thought this would come in handy to put in my backpack. And then I found these traveling jars. I thought these would come in handy for when I go on my trip in October. Or, and you can also use these for crafting as well. If you have like little beads or sequins or anything small like that, you can put them in these in your craft room as well. So that's really nice. And then I found this really cool wet and wild duo of nail polish and lipstick. And let's see, does it say what color it is? It just says silk finished lip color and mega last nail color, but it doesn't say, well, the number is 39915, but I just thought they were so pretty and they have like, I think they'd be good for fall. So I picked those up. I also picked up my kids uh, a 12 pack of combs. So among the three of them, they can share uh, but it looks like 12 different versions of combs, so that's really nice. And then, of course, I had to pick up some more of this uh, Aches and Pains Muscle Relief 
This one's definitely my favorite, especially since I have back pain. This definitely comes in handy. And then I picked up this 16 piece hook and loop fasteners. This reminds me of the new um, Velcro command strips. So I thought I'd try out this Dollar Tree brand. These are in the hardware aisle. And then I found a couple of containers. This one is Surefresh Professional. And I thought it was really pretty. It, it reminds me of like a fancy casserole dish, but of course it's plastic and it comes with the lid. And it holds 6.625 cups. And it's microwave, freezer, and top rack dishwasher safe. So that's really nice. Then I found these really pretty, what would you call that? Uh, turquoise or mint green Tubbert wares. This is rubber made take alongs. And you get two of them. And they're microwave safe, freezer safe, and recyclable base. Oh, and dishwasher safe. So that's really nice. And then I also found this rubber made container that holds dips in your snacks. So I picked one of those up. I thought that was really nice. And I like the periwinkle blue. That's one of my favorite colors. And then I also picked up these orange circular ones. And this is from Surefresh Professional. And it holds 3.78 cups. And it has a vented lid. And then in the school supply section, I found these really nice bins. And these, of course, can be used for all kinds of different things. I thought about using them to separate my kids' school supplies here at home. So anything that we have extra of, like extra pencils or highlighters or notebooks or what have you, that they don't necessarily need at the beginning of the year, I thought I could write their name on it and then store them in these for just easy, accessible storage. So I picked up two of those. And then I got three of these letter trays and I just think they're so pretty. They got that like, what would you call it? Iridescent, I guess, iridescent uh, glow to them. And I just really like it. It's just so pretty, but I'm gonna use these for my craft room to hold my construction paper, my different types of dyed paper, um, even some uh, different color computer papers that I use. But you can stack them up. Well, they're not gonna stack easy because the, the plastic's still on, but you can stack them like this. And then put your papers in either tray. So they're really pretty and I picked those up. And in the school section, I also found this notebook writer's guide. I thought this was really cute and they come in different um, subjects. They showed the different subjects on the back here. But since I'm a writer, I found this really neat and I have two middle schoolers and a high schooler. And I think, you know, with them, having to write more essays now this will come in handy they can just use this as a resource of course you can just google things but since everything is combined into one book here it might be easier to find what they need so i thought that was really cool but it says it has guidelines for writing proficiency perfect for homework writing tips and checklists fits in a three ring binder so that's really neat in the school section i also found this really pretty folder I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. And it, like there was nothing else like this laying around. Like this was just randomly in with different folders. So I'm not sure where it came from, but it's really pretty. So I picked that up. And I also found this rainbow composition book. It's so cute. So I had to pick it up. I use these for my journals and sometimes if I don't like what's on the front, I'll cover it with stickers, kind of like a camouflage and it turns out really cool. And then of course I write inside. So pick that up. 
Oh, and then I found these metallic ink pens and they come in the color that the pen is. So it's like a, a pink and maybe an orange, but I thought that was so cool. It says metallic ink, premium metallic finish, perfect for journaling or personalizing. But I picked those up. And then I got some stickers. These, and then the back is the same. It's a 32 pack. And then I found these really cute emoji stickers. <laughs> but this is a 94 piece. And I'm not sure if I got these already or not, but I found these really cute stickers. It says, heal yourself. Cool to be kind, born to shine, girls never lose, no bad vibes. But they're really cute. And this is a 62 piece. And then I found these temporary tattoos. I thought they were cute. And it says property of camp, blah, 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 blah. It's got a little 10 and a fire. I just thought that was so cute. And instead of put, using them for temporary tattoos, I actually use these in my journaling. I just use it as like uh, transfer stickers. Now these you, you need to wet, so make sure that you're willing to wet your journal uh, if you wanna use these. But of course it does dry. And then I found two more crafting kits this is the super blast art color and spray amazing art i thought that was really cool and then this is the pom-pom tassel kit they're so cute that reminds reminds me of the 90s when we had what were those things called rosie o'donnell on her show used to shoot them i can't remember what they are but they look like pom-poms but they're plastic Crap, what were they? I don't remember. If you remember, let me know in the comments down below. I used to love those things. And then in the baby section, I found this really cute panda blanket. I'm actually gonna turn this into a pillow for my sister. So I thought that would be really cute. <laughs> and then I also found this multi-use scarf. And instead of using it for a scarf, I'm going to use it for a journal cover. And it's really cute. It's got donuts and fruits and macarons on there. Just thought that was so cute and make a cute little journal cover. And then this next thing I was so excited to find. I bought it for my daughter, but I don't know if she's going to wear it, but it is so cute. It says chilling with my peeps. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. And it's got the Easter peeps on there. Like, get out of here. That is just so cute. I think I'm just a nerd. But I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And then I also found this Body Ecology for Kids. It's a sculpting soap kit with three f fruity scents. Apple, blueberry, and watermelon. So essentially it's like Play-Doh, but it's soap. And it comes with this star and the crab. I thought that was so cute. So I picked that up. And then I found these brand new stickers. They're huge. They're six and a half by six and a half. And there's six different um, characters on here. But you can put them on anything. You can put them on journals, your laptop, your book bag, whatever, what have you. That's a lion. A little monkey. A panda. Guess who I'm giving that to. <laughs> a unicorn. I think she might be my favorite. The llama. And then the toucan. It's so cute. <laughs> I absolutely love these. And then I found some more stickers. This is on a 110 pack sticker pad. 
but they're so cute. They, they remind me of like brats or something. Or LOLs with smaller heads and something like that. But I just thought they were so cute. So I picked those up. And then I also found uh, 250 piece owl stickers. They're so pretty. And then I found another glitter shaker decoration for my sister. And this one actually comes with a little hanger on it. Thought that was cute. And it says, choose kindness. And in addition to that, I found this cute little panda on top of a watermelon. <laughs> I just thought that was so cute. And then I found more stuff in the school supply section. I love these thicker pencils. Now I know they're for like elementary school kids, but I actually like them better than normal size pencils when I'm writing because when I write, of course I write for long periods of time and it's just easier to hold these bigger ones for longer periods of time. So I picked some of those up and I found some more washi tape. I might have already hauled the sunshine one, but I also found this really cute bear, bunny and tiger. And I think that's an, is that an elephant? Yeah, that's an elephant. And then this retro looking one, it reminds me of the eighties. Thought that was cool. And then I picked one of these containers up for my craft room just to put more stuff in, whether it be my glue and scissors or even markers and stuff like that. And then I also picked up some of these containers and these will be good for my stickers and embellishments. Oh, I found another washi tape. This one's really cute donuts and ice cream and that kind of looks like maybe one of those unicorn ma marshmallows that's really cute oh and then i got more of these little jars and this one's nice because it actually comes with a little spatula so if you're actually going to use these for lotion or shower gel or something it'll be easier to put in there with that spatula so that's really nice and then I found these beautiful rainbow hair clips. I couldn't believe it. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love them so much. Can't wait to wear those. And then I had to pick up another pair of headphones because I'm constantly losing mine. And these are translucent and they're yellow. They also came in green, blue, red, and I think purple. But these were in the checkout line as well. And then I love Dollar Tree's book section. You can find some really cool gems in that section. And of course, regular priced books are really expensive. They can get from like 15 to $40 a piece. But I'm interested in nonfiction and anything dealing with memoirs or World War II or anything like that. But I found this really cool book today. It's called The Mad Potter, George E. Orr. A, uh, a centric genius and it's all about this uh, pottery maker and I just thought that was so cool so I picked that up and it shows some of his pottery in here and of course it tells about his story but that's a picture of him <laughs> and then that's a picture of his pottery so I'll be interested to read that. And I also picked up this memoir called You Don't Have to Say You Love Me. And then I also really like books on mental health. Obviously I have a mental illness of my own, so I love reading other people's stories about how they cope with their mental illness. But this one's called Little Panic. And it says, Dispatches from an Anxious Life. 
And then I also find uh, little chapter books for my twins who are in middle school because they have reading time within school. So I found this one called The Witching Hours and it's The Vampire Knife. And this is book one. So I picked that up for them. And then I absolutely love word searches. It keeps my mind busy, especially when I'm doing something where I have to be idle, whether it be watching TV or waiting in a waiting room or something like that. So I found these really cute word searches and I love the background theme. So I have a pineapple one, a strawberry, a peach, and a kiwi. I thought they were so cute. And then I also found this one. It's, I really like the design. It looks like acrylic paint. I love it. That's so cool. Absolutely love it. Oh, and then I found these really cute notepad. It says, all you need is love and a dog. <laughs> That's so cute. And then I also found this really cute tie-dye notebook. I absolutely love that. And it's lined paper inside. And then the back is the same. It's so pretty. And then I found this 250 plus dinosaur stickers. And it, oh, it opens like a book like this. but it also goes into more than just dinosaurs. So I thought that was really neat too. And I use stickers to decorate the envelopes when I mail out my patches. So this is a cool variety that I can choose from. And then I found these mouse pad notepads. I thought they were so cool. So you can use them as a mouse pad if your mouse works on these. But this one says, if you forget one more time, get it together and then maybe one day. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. But they had four different versions. This one says, you're killing it, babe. Pretty and productive, girls run the world, check you out. And then this one says, is it Friday yet? And doodles. And then the last one says today, this week, this week, and this month. So I thought those were really cute. Oh, and then when I was in the snack out, I could not believe this. So they came out with Kool-Aid gum and Kool-Aid cotton candy. That is so cool. Absolutely love that. So you get, let's see, grape, tropical punch, and cherry for the gum flavors. And this is tropical punch flavor. Absolutely love that. Oh my gosh, wait till you see these. So I found these brittle mixes. And there's three different flavors. There's peanut brittle, brownie brittle, and then chocolate chip brittle. Like get out of here. And they're Betty Crocker. I absolutely love these. These are gonna taste so good. My kids will probably eat them all, but. Oh, and I also found these Betty Crocker lemon cookie mix. Thought that would be good for a summer treat. And then in the hardware section, I found this really cool uh, inspection mirror. And I thought this would be good for any time that you need to look in tight spaces, whether it be behind the couch, behind your washer, up underneath the sink or something like that. This would really come in handy for that. And then I also got some multi-purpose cement. 
and it says it bonds with wood, metal, ceramic, china, porcelain, leather, fabric, and most plastics. So it's like an all-purpose glue. And then the last thing I got were these really pretty florals. And I think these could be good for not only summer, but also fall. They're just so pretty. And I think I'm gonna use them in my floral box that I made. When did I make that? Was that last year? It's in one of my craft videos, I can't remember. But I made like a spring version. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a fall version and put these in it with maybe some pumpkins and stuff. But I thought, that, I thought they were really pretty. But that's it for this huge haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.